Hi, beautiful friends. So, I was guided to share with you some thoughts on the topic of love. Hi, Sai. So, romantic love is one of the most sought-out experiences that humans have. And for good reason. It is a profoundly transformative experience. When we taste love with another person, we merge our souls into theirs. We literally feel when we're making love with someone, that we are one with them. And it is such a relief because we walk around in this crazy world feeling so separate all the time. And then, ugh, we meet someone and we merge into them. We're not alone anymore. But then there comes a point on the spiritual path when we start to think about some of the trickiness of love, romantic love, some of the stickiness, some of the messiness. And we start to like dig deeper and ask the tough questions. What, what is this thing called romance? What is this thing? called sexual attraction. What is this? So one of my favorite teachers, Ram Dass, (laughs) he first introduced me to this idea. And it's taken a number of years to finally settle into my, my being where I understand that he is right. And now I fully get it. And what he taught me is this. What we're really looking for is not another person. What we're really seeking is a feeling. So we're not seeking a person. We're seeking a state of being. We're seeking that high, that upliftment. That feeling of elation, of joy, of safety, of connection, of togetherness, of oneness, of being with. <laughs> I think Ram Dass put it something like, he was trying to be funny. He said, um, instead of saying I love you, you could just say, I appreciate that the stimulus of you is creating a sensation in me that I enjoy. <laughs> or something like that. And I remember like the first time hearing that thinking like, wow, that's really harsh. Like. I don't know about that, but now I can feel how that is true, at least for me. I can feel that when I feel this romantic, passionate, sexual love, when I go into it and I really look at it, what I feel is connection with another being, another soul, soul to soul. And that connection brings about a state of being that feels high. It feels good. It feels addicting. It feels amazing. I want more of it, right? So that's what I'm feeling. Romantic love can open the doorway for us into exploring the bigger kinds of love. And that can be hard to hear if we are enjoying romantic love with someone. We think, oh, is this not as good? Is this somehow less? I'm not saying that it's less worthy or less awesome. But what I am saying is there's more. There is a lot more. Sometimes in the work that I do, 
I literally fall in love with dozens of people in a single day. Sometimes it's just a glance on the street. Sometimes it's working with someone, doing a healing session. I am every bit in love with that person as I ever was with any lover I've ever had. Profoundly in love. But then it's time to go. The moment has passed. I walk past them on the street. The healing session is concluded. It's time to go our separate ways. And I feel within me these pullings, these tugs sometimes of attachment. I don't want to say goodbye. I don't want to let them go. I don't want to go on to the next thing. I want to stay in this moment with them forever. It's just so beautiful, right? I feel that attachment. What I've discovered is to celebrate that feeling of love. To not get angry at myself when I do feel those attachments, but to recognize them, feel them, and then with love, set them free. Set them free to do their own thing. And yeah, maybe we'll meet again. Maybe we'll develop a different kind of relationship. Maybe things will happen that I can't even plan and predict. But regardless, when they leave my presence... I must, again, come into my own space, to my own state of being. Not constantly thinking about them or longing for them or wanting to go back into that moment that we shared, but just being here now with this moment. This moment, right now. And that's hard sometimes. <sighs> I have tasted such beauty with so many beings. And I've had experiences with lovers that transcend all possibility of speaking of them. It goes beyond words. And yet I'm here now, in this moment, in this space, with the whole future before me, the unknown before me and the past dead and gone. I sit here with you sharing this, not knowing who you are, but knowing that we do have a connection as well. So in our lives, I ask, could we take the time to celebrate those connections, but hold them lightly? Hold them with grace and a sense of playfulness. People come, people go. And we can fall madly in love with the bank teller and have five minutes of bliss and joking about the weather or something silly. And really look into their eyes and be with them. And we can do that. We can choose to do that. And we can also have a 10-year relationship with our beloved and share countless memories. But at the end of the day, that love is the same. It's the same that you feel with your beloved. It's the same that you feel with the bank teller. It's the same love. There is no difference in love. So that romantic love, that high that we get, that is a doorway to the infinite. Sending you all my love on this very magical Wednesday. Namaste.